Welcome back. We learned that we we're able to create an actual attribute for the class. But what about a method? Is there a way to do something like here where we do with attributes, but for methods? Well, there is. And we use a decorator, which is a topic that we'll cover later on. And you'll understand how these work underneath the hood in a bit. But for now, the syntax that we're going to use is the add sign. And then we call a class method like this. And now with this decorator, we can now write a function. For example, let's create a function and we'll call it adding things that will take num1 and num2. And in here, oh, make sure we add the define for the function. And in here, we'll just return num1 plus num2. Okay, so what does this class method do? Let me minimize this just so we can see a little bit better. Now in here, let's see if player one has access to adding things. So let's just say adding things two and three. If I click run, takes two position arguments, but three were given. Hmm, that's on line 17. So when we call this, we gave it two parameters, but then it was expecting, it says that we actually got three. And that is because adding things, the first parameter, just like we have here, is the CLS. And CLS stands for class. So this player character, that's the class that we're referring to. So similar to what we've seen before, but the standard is to use CLS. Now, if I run this, you'll see that we get five. Okay, but looking at this, it looks like it's pretty much the same as the above, except instead of using self, we use CLS. But how is this a class method? Well, it's because we can actually use this without even instantiating a class. Let me show you. Let's say that we don't instantiate player one. And now I just simply call in here, player character dot adding things. If I click run, look at that, I get five. It's a method on the actual class. It's a class method. So you can do some interesting things. And by the way, class methods aren't used as often. So if you're thinking, hmm, why do we even need this? Well, I would say 95% of your classes aren't going to use something like a class method, but there are cases where this might be useful. For example, we can use the CLS to actually instantiate an object in here. So for example, I can say that CLS which is the class, which is the player character. And I'm going to instantiate it, remember, just like we did here with the brackets, with num1 plus num2 as the second parameter, and we'll give it name Teddy. If I hit run here, look at that. I've instantiated an object, Teddy, with the age of what should be five. So let's Take this, make this equal to player three. And if I do player three right here, dot age, and I click run, I get five. So I have a whole new player here that was created by using this class method. So I was able to create just like I created a class object attribute, a class method using this at sign. There's also one other way of doing something like this, which is the static method. And the static method works the exact same way as here, except you do not have access to the CLS or the class. So you can't do something like we did above. Instead, we just perform some sort of method like adding things 
two like this. So the only difference between the two is the idea that we don't have access in our parameters to this CLS. So we would use something like static method where we don't care anything about the class state. A class state is something like these. We don't care about the attributes, really. We use something like a class method when we do care about these attributes and maybe we want to modify them or change them. Now, these class method and static method is something that you won't see very often, but I wanted to show it to you just because you might encounter it through your Python career. Hopefully this wasn't too confusing. In the next video, I want to review what we've just learned up until now.